Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about something um, from what's sometimes called abstract or modern algebra, um, which is called a group. So, a group is a set of elements G with an operation, uh, a binary operation star um, on G such that we have the following uh, four criteria. First is its closure. If you take any two elements in the group and you apply this operation, you get a unique element still in the group. Associativity, it says if we take B star C and then take A star that result will get the same thing as if we basically combine A and B first and then do C. It says there's an identity element in the set so that when you apply the identity element to any element you just get um, the same element back. And then it says for every element in the set there's there exists an, I, an inverse element so that when you take the inverse and the original you get the identity element. So in this example, we're going to look at the set of real numbers, um, and we're going to exclude the number negative 1, and we're going to show that this, um, in fact, produces a group. So the first thing we have to show is closure. Well, if you do apply A star B, we get exactly what we get, A plus B plus AB. And I think it's pretty clear to see that this would be uniquely defined. Right? I mean, we're dealing with real numbers and addition and multiplication. If you add a number plus a number and their product, you're going to get a unique number. Um, so I think that kind of goes um, without saying. Um, the problem is, though, is it closed? And the only way it could not be closed is if A star B somehow equaled negative 1, because that's the element that we're leaving out of our group here. Well, if A star B were to equal negative 1, that means A plus B plus AB equals negative 1. And notice we can take this and subtract A, so we'll get B plus AB equals negative 1 minus A. We can factor a B out of the left side and get 1 plus A. On the right side, we still have negative 1 minus A. And if we divide, we'll get 1 plus A on the bottom. If I factor a negative 1 out of the top, we'll get 1 plus a. But this gives us negative 1. So it says the only way that our binary operation could give us a bad result, negative 1, it says if one of the original numbers was negative 1 to begin with. Well, we can't pick negative 1 to begin with, so this situation can't happen. So it is going to be closed under multiplication, or this, excuse me, not multiplication, this sort of weird definition of um, this binary operation. Okay, associativity. So associativity would be just kind of tedious to show here. So all we have to show now is that A star B star C is the same thing as A star B star C. Um, and this will be a little tedious, so if we apply A star B by the definition, we get A plus B plus AB star C. If we apply the definition to the right side, we'll get A star. If we do B star C, we'll get B plus C plus BC. And then according to this definition, it basically says you write the first thing, A plus B plus AB. It says you write the second thing and then you write the product of the two. Whoops, I left out my B on the first part. Um, so A plus B plus AB. And on the right side, it says we'll do the same thing. So A star this stuff, it says we'll get A plus, let's see if I can squeeze it all in here, B plus C plus BC. I think I'm going to run out of room. And then it says we basically multiply them together which will give us A times B plus C plus BC. So the question is, are these equal for it to be associative? If you multiply it out on the left, um, we'll get A plus B plus AB plus C plus, if we distribute, we'll get AC plus BC plus ABC. On the right side, we'll get A plus B plus C plus BC plus AB plus AC plus ABC. Okay, so the question is, are these two things equal? So, sorry, I kind of ran out of room. This problem got long. 
Let's see what we, we can cancel. So the A and the A cancels. The B and the B cancels. The C and the C would cancel. Um, there's an AB on the left. There's an AB on the right. There's an AC on the left. There's an AC on the right. There's a BC on the left and on the right. And an ABC and an ABC. So we've now shown <coughs> that associativity also holds. <coughs> okay, I'm going to finish off the other two examples in another video because I think I'm going to run out of time. So um, we'll have to show that there's an identity element and also that inverses exist. So we'll do that in just a second.